Hi everyone, I'm Janelle from Tunes Unlimited and today I'm going to show you how you can take some of your crazy talk animation files, projects, and get it back into an SWF format. Now, for people who are new to Crazy Talk Animator, Crazy Talk Animator 1 had the ability to export your um, animation into an SWF format. However, we lost that feature in Crazy Talk Animator 2 and 3. So I'm going to show you how you can use this feature again. If you've been trying to get your projects into other applications, but you have not been able to get it into SWF format, this is how you do it. Now, the first thing we want to do, because we are going to be using a PNG sequence, we're going to convert a PNG sequence to um, SWF. And the software you will need is Crazy Talk Animator 3, Adobe Animate, and then whatever application you want to import it in as far as whatever your end results were. So here's what I've done. I created a very super, super, super simple animation. And it's just going to be this little guy is going to come out and he's bouncing and he's happy. He's going to turn kind of chuckle a little bit and then clap his hands. And that's it. It's 240 frames long. Now, because we are working with PNG sequence, here's what I need you to do. Because if you're not familiar, if you save a um, PNG file in this application, it kind of creates a little white border. And we don't want that. We want a nice, crisp, black, solid border for our end results. The first thing we're gonna do is go to projects, under background color, we're gonna drag it all the way to the black. So now it's a black background. And this is going to, you're gonna understand once everything is completed. Now, since I've already done my animation, I'm ready to export this. Here's what I need you to understand. You lose the vector formatting because we are exporting this in PNG. So what I need you to understand is you need to make sure that when you're exporting your file, you're exporting the file at the resolution needed for your for your um your output, your end results or larger. Why? Because the bigger the PNG file gets, the more you start to lose your um your clarity. The picture starts to get degraded. So in my case, I'm going to bounce over really quickly to Articulate Storyline 2. And here is my presentation. Nothing there but a simple background. Actually, I might change it to a blue background real quick. So here's my, my background. And I wanted to make sure that I export my character for the same size for my Storyline story project. And in this case, it's 720 over 540. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. And let me bounce back to Crazy Talk Animator. So now we're gonna go to Render, Render Image. Make sure this is a PNG sequence so that it's transparent. And as you can see, I've already plugged in my dimension 720 over 540. I do not want to render any hidden objects. Do not render hidden objects, um, especially if you know your animation's got stuff that's popping up later on. Because if you do, it's gonna render those during the whole animation, it's gonna look weird. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and hit export. We're gonna create a new folder called Chef Animation. And while inside of that folder, we're gonna create call it chef you just call it chef so it's going ahead it's doing this thing should only take a few seconds boom we're done as you can see here is our sequence of him coming out great so we are done with this so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this application and I'm going to go ahead and bring up Adobe animate and we're going to create a brand new document and we want our document to be five I'm sorry 720 over 540 just so we know what we're working with all right and here it goes let's get this right in the center all right so 
before we import anything in, let's go ahead and go to insert a new symbol. Let's call it Chef Animation. All right, we are now inside that symbol. So here's what we need to do. Go to File, Import, Import to Stage. Here we are inside of the Chef Animation folder. And the only thing you need to do is click on the very first, make sure you click on the very first um, file. Adobe Animate realizes it's a sequence and it's gonna ask you, do you wanna import all of the images in? You wanna select yes. And what it's going to do is it's gonna put each one of those files on a different frame. Basically, it's reconstructing your animation that you had in Crazy Talk Animator 3. So now that it's done, this is how it looks. And as you can see, I'm on frame 240, and here is everything you see in him running back and forth on the stage. This is everything. We can now go out the scene. And as you can see, all of your files is right here. But what we need is just this animation brought back on. Because as you can see, we're back in scene one. There's no frames right now here. We have the animation, but we have to put it on the stage. So let's go ahead and drag this to the stage. And let this work this little mojo for a second. And it's done. And it's clear the way we want it. So we want to go ahead and just size it up. Make sure it's at the exact dimensions that we wanted to import it in for articulate. And I'm going to go ahead and hit file, export, export as movie. And we'll just call it now Chef animation all right we are now done with adobe animate we don't need that we have everything we need so here we are back here at at articulate storyline 2 and we're going to go ahead and import our animation and so we're going to go to file i'm sorry we're going to go to insert flash Here's our animation right here. And look at that. It's at the exact output settings that we wanted, right? It's fitting this frame perfectly so we know exactly what we expect to behave. I'm going to go ahead and play this out real quick. And look at that. Nice and clean. And he's at the formatting that we wanted. This is how you get something from a PNG sequence to SWF so that you can still import your your um, animation from Crazy Talk Animator into whatever resource you need. Hope this helps. Take care. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week. If you would like to purchase my product, Head over to my store for characters, props, and scenes. If you enjoyed this video, here is a link to another video you might like from this channel. Thanks for joining and take care.